I stand humbly before all of you today to pay respects to arguably the most recognized phenom, humanitarian, and athlete of all time. There is not enough time or words to describe the impact and role Muhammad Ali had over his fans, followers, media, and myself. I say with great dignity and pride that he is my role model, and forever will be. Why Ali deserves these words is not necessarily because of what he did inside the ring, but because of his work and dedication outside of the ring in his effort to aid the rest of the world. Muhammad Ali was formerly known as Cassius Clay, and he joined the Nation of Islam. He changed his name from Cassius Clay to Muhammad Ali because he didn't want to be referred to by his slave name, and this was all in an effort to help aid the African American religious movement at that time period, which was pretty much called the Nation of Islam. Shortly after this, he refused to be enlisted into the army, not because he was scared or afraid, but to show support for the anti-war movement in the 1960s. For this, he was arrested and stripped of all of his boxing titles. He didn't fight for an amazing five years after this and made a comeback. But during this time, he made the most of it. He went on missions to Afghanistan and North Korea to help out the hungry people there. He also traveled to Iraq and somehow secured 15 troops <clears throat> from hostile environments. In addition, he also went to South Africa to greet and promote Nelson Mandela as soon he was, as he was released from prison. I am just grazing upon all of the <clears throat> advocacy projects and works that Muhammad Ali did over his lifetime. His name goes far beyond just the boxing ring. Just to list a couple more of his uh, advocacy works, he provided over 200 million meals to the hungry across countries like Indonesia, Mexico, and Morocco. Even back home, he participated in Make-A-Wish Foundation and the Special Olympics. He even had two laws written under his name for protecting children and boxers against poor health conditions. Only to name a few of his conditions, uh, only, name, only to name a few of his awards and accomplishments, he was the United Nations Messenger of Peace from 1998 to 2008. He also won the Presidential Medal of Freedom and Amnesty's Lifetime Achievement Award. Jimmy Carter, the U.S. President at that time, called him Mr. International Friendship, which was a huge reward, upon many others that I'm not listening. To Muhammad Ali, these awards were more important than the boxing awards. Although, listing some stats would be unheard of in remembrance of this great fighter. All time, he had 56, 56 wins and only five losses with 37 knockouts throughout his whole career. He was world champion three different times, which was a record, and he fought in the epic Thrilla and Manila fight against Joe Frazier, which was considered the most epic fight of all time. Muhammad Ali eventually won in 14 rounds. Muhammad Ali no doubt inspired millions and proved that against all odds, anything could be accomplished. So today, let us not mourn in Muhammad Ali's death, but look back to follow his footsteps and open doors for others as he did for us. Let us look and realize all that he has done for us today and how he is still living through his various accomplishments, changes, and morals that he has instilled upon us. Let's lead through his example. I hope you can all see why Muhammad Ali is truly the greatest of all time. Thank you.